basically a dentist in Britain and I was using clothes, the Bupa dentist, and I was due for some treatment, which I need to have done. It's a tooth that's cracked at the back of it. And, and I can't find an NHS dentist, and I can't find a dentist that I can pay for anywhere within a 30 mile radius. So faced with no one else to treat him, David Moore looked to Turkey for a dentist. It's going to be a fraction of what you'd pay in the UK. Because, I mean, I remember I had an implant about nine years ago, and that was as much as the whole of this together. This way, it's, it's not only cheaper. I'm going to get the treatment done quite quickly. I don't have to worry about, you know, waiting for an appointment. You do read some horror stories online about dentists overseas. Are you worried at all? You know, a lot of these people, they want this sort of Hollywood type smile, mainly younger people, and they've not really thought it through. And I think that's when you have problems. They've gone to these dentists, they've maybe not done their research that they, they are proper dentists, and they've come back with horror stories and had to have problems. Last week, David and his wife flew out to Antalya to fix his cracked tooth and replace two he'd lost. The dental work, flights and accommodation all costing less than £2,000. The dental surgery told us most of their patients come from the UK. In Turkey, especially in Antalya, increasing a lot of clinics and opening a lot of clinics, and most of them are taking care of the UK patients. They cannot have the appointments in the UK, so they are not able to get rid of the pain and the other problems, and there is no uh, much other options. Today, we caught up with David back yeah, so home. I've had that filled. Which... As well as that filling, he had bone graft surgery to strengthen his jaw, ready for two implants to go in later this year. It was astonishing on the plane back that we, you know, I should think the majority of people on the plane had had some sort of, they were health tourists, basically. Not only is, is the service impeccable, but the price is just so much cheaper. The British Dental Association says many of its members have been asked to fix problems after overseas cut price treatment. And they're urging patients to check a dentist's qualifications and experience and factor in the cost of follow-up visits for complex work. That's something David did. Returning home with antibiotics and a dental bill around a third of what he'd expected to pay here. Anne-Marie Tasker, BBC Look North, Bridlington.